Last night was the season finale for Strong, and although the comeback kids of the yellow team were an audience favorite, the blue team came out winners in the end. That's right. Adam von Rothfelder, who was on the white team, is a loser. Is back. Oh, ow. That hurts. I'm still strong. I know. Yeah, I mean, come on. How do you feel um, about the winners? You know, uh, I was really happy to see uh, uh, Todd and Brittany make it so far. Yeah. Uh, you know, my only my only thing I could say about the blue team winning is you at least. You're your arch nemesis. Okay? Least, yeah, but at least it's a guy that I lost to. Okay. Right? So if the team I would have lost to lost, that meant that somebody else was that much better than yeah, us. Yeah, right. So we would have been like, so oh, the way yeah. I see it, I was still the second best team on the show then. Over there, you go. You know, <laughs> Mathematical. Uh, you know. Are, you know, a lot of people, I think, you know, here, because we know you, feel like the show would have been better if you'd yeah. been a, with it till the end. It would have been because more conflict. You kind of added a little bit of yeah. conflict yeah. to the show, but you made it interesting because, you know, there was kind of this respect thing mm -hmm. and whatever. It's a little boring. Right. You know, you like somebody who mixes it up a totally. little bit. Totally. I mean, I, I agree 100%. And I mean, it's not because it's just me, but <laughs> even like people that I don't like me have sent me messages like, dude, the show is better without you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, and yeah. it's like, and, and you know, that's a compliment at the same yeah. time. It was, it, it's still a great show. The challenges and the competitions and everything was amazing. Yeah. But I do know that one thing is that I brought, you know, the heat. Like I, I liked pushing buttons and, you know, and maybe it was just me and not even trying to push buttons. It was just me conflicting, you know, my yeah. personality, but it went well. Because so. there was money on the line for part of the strategy and stuff like that. Would you have changed the way you played looking back now? Um, you know, looking back at it, I wouldn't have done anything different other than uh, I got sucked in a little bit to the idea of like lifting weights with uh, some of the guys and that's really not my thing to like pound on weight workouts and mm -hmm. I really think that that's kind of contributed to my uh, fra my fractured tibia mm -hmm. uh, was just like I was stacking on muscle. I put 16 pounds of muscle on when I was on the show. Wow. I lost 1% body fat. I came in at 196 and I walked out at, tw at 214. So what are you now? I'm uh, 205. Okay. So, hmm. but like at the time, I, I mean, like they had a $400 a week budget from Whole yeah. Foods. I haven't, I haven't had $400 a week to spend on food since ever. Yeah. So like, I was just like food. Yeah. You yeah. Know? <laughs> really quick. What did you think about what we said about, cause you, you, you're a trainer. You work with a lot of women yeah. um, who, you know, have body image issues. Mm -hmm. And yes. so few women think they, I mean, maybe some women think they look fine in a bathing suit. It's such a fraction, small number of women who think they look terrific in a bathing suit. Your thoughts on that? I think a lot of it is projection and uh, they have to they have to understand how beautiful they are as a person and they'll accept themselves more on a physical level mm -hmm. um, I think that a lot of the way we view ourselves is also the way we carry ourselves so like I look at some women the way they look in their swimsuit or something if you were to pull your shoulders back and walk tall and strong you would look a hundred percent better you would look mm -hmm. that much more confident so I say you know do the things to take care of yourself and be confident with what you have and you know don't don't sit there and ashamed of mm -hmm. uh, rock of it out are. yeah rock it out yeah totally well, and yeah. if you want to get stronger this summer you can join Adam here are his summer of strong dates we'll give you those and then we're gonna do a little hydration fix with him so here's the summer of strong you should register for these but they are free June 4th and 18th, July 2nd, 16th and 30th, August 13th and 27th. Visit the website milwaukeestrong.com so that you can register and find out where these will take place because oftentimes the dates will be different as to where the um, where yeah, the workout is. We're trying so. to keep it fresh. We're trying to, yeah. you know, bring in different artists and different places. So mm -hmm. we really, uh, we, we kind of announced it last minute to let everybody know. It's so. awesome. Yeah. It's free. It's, and it's open totally to the free. public. And you'll look great yeah. in a bathing suit after. See? There you go. Bam. You just got to register. You have a lot of great dates, and it's wonderful you're doing that for free. So who's your friend? So I brought my friend Nick Ginster. Uh, mm -hmm. He is actually hey, Nick. Uh, What's the, up, owner Nick? Of, the owner of uh, Fixation Bicycles. And, uh, we have uh, Bike Week next week. We mm -hmm. have the UPATH Ride for the Arts. It's really been warming up outside. And I thought, why not bring somebody in who knows a lot about what a lot of people are going to be doing, which is biking. Yeah. And if you're biking a lot and it's hot out, what are you going to be doing? Hydrating. Right. Right? So mm -hmm. what's the best ways to hydrate? So a lot of people, you know, uh, look at hydration and we kind of look to that where we were in sports in high school and we're still drinking, you know, this stuff, you know, yeah, which sports is sports drinks. Right, sports drinks. It's it's not gonna hydrate, it's gonna cause an insulin it's spike. It's a lot of sugar. Right, it's insulin. Yeah, I mean yeah. It's, it's garbage. So <laughs> what we wanna do <laughs> what we wanna do is we wanna really focus on water and high quality water. Okay. There's a lot of great supplements that you can use that are, you know, that can be more costly to enhance your water 
Yeah, because water is kind of a little boring sometimes. Well, a lot of it's denatured, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, if you go to findaspring.com, it's mm -hmm. actually a great way to find a natural spring anywhere near you with free okay. water. Oh. I've never so, heard that denatured. I like yeah, that term. Denatured. So we, we, we take every all the goodness out of it and the bad mm -hmm. with you know that process. That filtration. Okay. So when I, what I like to do is I like to add uh, salt and lime to my water. Really? And yeah, and that's going to help you with the electrolytes, minerals. That's going to really enhance like the absorption of the water huh. and how it's going to take to your body. I, I have a question. Two things specific to when you hydrate, when you drink water. Is mm -hmm. there a key to that? You know, or should it be all day? And then the second thing is the temperature of the water because there are different yeah. opinions about should it be ice cold? Should it actually be warm. hot? Should well, it be room that's all temp that's all temp. metabolism based uh, if, from what you know everybody talks about. If it's hot or warm, if it yeah. co cools down the core temperature of your body. It, it would have to be really cold water, cold enough that it would probably burn your throat. Okay. As far as, you know, the frequency, let's put it around like more of like an activity so people can kind of understand. So let's say biking. So if I'm going to go on a two-hour bike ride, uh, yeah. Nick was telling me how much water would you suggest to somebody that's going to be doing something like the, uh, a ride for two hours? Yeah, when you're, when you're actually out there riding, you want to be drinking 12 to 16 ounces of water. I hour. totally don't do that. An, yeah. hour. an hour. Okay, so I that's like that. two cups almost. Two yeah, cups of right, water yeah. an hour minimum probably. Minimum. Yeah. And if it's okay. hotter, you want more. And another key is you really want to be drinking ahead of time. So four hours before you ride, you want to drink 12 ounces. Yeah, you right. don't want to just part. start once that's you start. See, and I don't do that at all because I don't want to have to stop and go to the bathroom while I'm biking. So I'm <laughs> yeah, like, that's don't <laughs> drink anything for an hour or so. Yeah, right. yeah you want to be hydrated. Yeah, and if you're, if you're, the problem is, is a lot of the times if you have a more frequent urination, it's actually because of like the, the the quality of the water. So if you have minerals and salt in it, you act, you, you won't go to the bathroom as often. Huh. So it's actually the denatured water that runs through us. We're and out of time, so we, we got enough this? time so, for a, oh, another, one can, more point. I didn't do anything, you know, so oh, all we I did was say, hey, there's multiple ways to stay hydrated. Yeah. Camelbacks, bottles of water, yeah. bikes today have multiple positions mm -hmm. for cages. This bike itself has like six positions to put water cages. There's no reason you should run out of water. There's no reason you should just not stay hydrated. So <laughs> last question with a yes or no, no, can you drink too much water? Yes, you can. Okay. I would I would stay under a gallon for just the average person. On okay. Norm, uh, there is like pulmonary like type things that can happen with too much water, but you'd have to get pretty high up there. Yeah. And if you make sure that your water has minerals, that is kind of a non-issue. And so the I'm best way to get minerals are salt and maybe a little lime. But salt and does lime. Does it matter what the salt is? I, I, I recommend sea salt, but regular okay. salt has iodine, which yeah. actually is really good for you. So a lot okay. of people stay away from table salt, but there are good parts about table salt. Okay. All right. Thanks for joining us, Nick. Thank you very yeah, much for having me. Great to see you. Yeah, bike thanks, week. Bike week. Next week. Yeah. 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 Ye